Hello Vinyl Community and anyone else watching this. Uh, Beetle Brad made a video for um, this guy Paul McCartney's 79th birthday. I found out who he is since my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, please check it out. Um, and uh, he, he wanted to start a thread with naming two songs from every decade in Paul's music career and um <laughs> I know who Paul McCartney is by the way um so I, I thought I'd, I'd jump onto this I've been wanting to jump on threads a lot lately but there's just so many that um I've been overwhelmed with threads but I thought I would I would do this one I didn't have to pull anything I could have I could be showing all the records but everybody knows the records so Anyway, so Brad, this one's for you, um, and he started in the 60s, and um, I'm a rock and roll guy, so for me, uh, the two I picked in the 60s that Paul, are Paul's are the Beatles, of course, um, Things We Said Today from the Hard Day's Night album, and The Night Before from Help. I just love the, both of those songs to death. They're um, very, I think mature songs for the stage that the Beatles were in and um, just both great tracks and uh, I love them. Okay moving on to the 70s now the easy choice I'm not going for here there is an obvious easy choice in the 70s but I'm gonna pass that by and I'm going with um, Junior's Farm just a single and um, Girl School, a B-side of a single. Um, again, I'm a rock and roll guy. I like rock and roll. And as far as the 70s went, these are two of the best, if not the two best rockers that Paul did in the 70s. Um, and Junior's Farm was a big hit. I can't remember if it went to number one, but it top ten easily. And um, in America... Um, if there was a hit from the single Mo of Kintyre Girl School, it was Girl School and not Mo of Kintyre. So, great songs there. Moving into the 80s, probably my favorite song from Paul in the 80s is Wonderlust from the Tug of War album. Just love that song to death. It's perfect production. He uses two or three different voices in it. It's just a fantastic ballad and I'm not a huge ballad guy but that one is up there and uh, for my second choice another ballad um, this one this one is just a perfect perfect song and um, you know every time I hear it I think of Linda I'm sure he does too and um, makes me sad in a way but um, great video for that see there's two videos but the one with the eyes is a fantastic video for that and he did redo Wonderlust on the Broad Street album but I don't think it's nearly as good as uh, the tug of war version moving into the 90s my first choice is the first single from uh, the off the ground album Hope of Deliverance um, it's not even so much the message of the song is just the recording of it, I think, is is just really good. I, it was a very minor hit in the U.S. It did chart in the top 100 somewhere. It should have been a top 10 hit. It was better than anything else out at the time. It was just a great track. And uh, my second choice for the 90s is Calico Skies from... Oh... <laughs> now I'm going to blank on the name of that album, Flaming Pie, of course. And um, I, it could have been a Beatles song. It's just a, a classic McCartney track. Quiet, understated, nice little song. Moving into the 2000s, it, it, it gets slightly harder. <laughs> but not that hard. Um... For me, it is Friends to Go from um, the, or 
you have the Chaos and Creation in the Backyard album. I just, uh, he when he wrote it, he said it was sort of, he was sort of writing a George song, and I kind of get it in a way. I, I kind of like that you don't really know what it's about, and it's, for McCartney, it's a very sort of masked song, and I, I like that about it, and I just, I love that whole album, but that's my favorite from that album. And um, I have to go with, from an album I don't love, but it's a fantastic song, Dance Tonight. Um, when I first saw that on the iPod commercial for um, the iPod, that was the first time any of us heard it, and um, just blew me away. Again, simple. I like simple. I don't like all this over-the-top production and all of that. I keep it simple. And um, both of those songs are just two of my favorites from the 2000s. Now, the 2010s, I'm going to stretch it just a little bit. And um, I'm going to go with um, Save Us from the new album. Although I like a lot of tracks on that album. And that just today I'm saying Save Us. It could be new. It could be Alligator. Um, new is a pretty good album. Um, and I'm stretching it because I'm going to McCartney too, which technically is this decade. But I'm not doing this decade. Brad didn't do this decade. And I'm going with Long Tail Winter Bird. Um, just a fantastic instrumental. Some people think it's too long. I don't. I think it's a great way to kick off the album. And uh, just, I think it's a great song. So there you have it, Brad. There's your thread. My picks for songs from every decade of... Paul's music career. Happy birthday, Paul McCartney. And um, that's about it. Check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. I never say this, but I'm also, it's also on, it's called the Snap, Crackle, and Pop Vinyl Hour, by the way. It's also on anywhere you can get podcasts. It's on iTunes. It should be on, um, gosh, I, I don't stream. Um, the big ones that everybody it should Spotify, it should be on Spotify, um, whatever wherever you stream, it's probably there as well. I never mention that, but it's it's everywhere. So check that out. Happy birthday again, Paul. I hope everybody out there is doing well, and um, I'll catch you with a more put together video very soon. I promise. Take care, everybody. Bye.